your dad. Yeah, what's going on? I want to get into nitro like hybrid RC. Oh, well, that's a little tough, but I got you. So all you got to do, get yourself some Taco Bell. Get yourself some fuel line. Can't tell you till you're 21 on what that's for. And that's it. You're set. You can get into nitro. All right. But you can't have these. You got to buy your own. Why? Why? Because those are mine. So get out there, do some work, buy your own. Hey, Dad, I need some help. What do you need help with? I want to bash it like Kevin Tommy. Oh, well, well that's, e that's easy. Because all you need to do to bash it like Kevin Talbert, throw some money at it. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Hey, Dad, I need some help. What do you need help with? I want to bash the RC car like RC Go Garage. Really? Yes. Oh, that's easy. Duct tape, zippy ties, $5. That should do it. All right, welcome back. So this has been sitting for a day and a half now. Um, I actually got uh, pretty ill the last uh, couple of days. But I figured I get out, try to make another video. After I've tuned this, I'm hoping that, uh, that it'll fire up and, uh, and run good. So I'm going to get some more fuel put into this thing. We're going to get it fired up and uh, see if the double, double idle has gone, see if it'll shift into uh, second gear. See if it'll do all the things it's supposed to do. watched uh, Razor RC went ahead and uh, got his Revo going uh, but he was struggling with a double idle and was told that uh, it was on the high side needle um, which you know it is possible but the odds of it being at an idle being on the high side needle is very slim because the high side needle only kicks in off of idle so unless your throttle is pulled you know past a quarter the high side needle wouldn't affect idle um, from my experience but um, I would suggest uh, like I showed in the last video to go ahead and uh, and uh, give uh, the low side needle just like I said keep cranking it up until uh, until that idle starts to come down um, and then you'll get control of the idle and your tune will be a lot closer as well let me see if I can get this lid put back on. This is the thing I'm fighting with. I really need to... Uh, to get this cover... working right again. need to get my switch hooked back up so I can stop fighting with this stupid uh, stupid lid 
every time I want to run this thing. Just silly to have to keep fighting with this cover just to get power to the steering servos. But we're going to give this thing a fire up and see how it's going to run. kind of rich until it warms up. temperature into it now and that's where I'm at with this one so what I'm gonna do is get the body clips on I'm gonna put it on the ground we're gonna go for a little rip see if uh, getting this thing warmed up with it on the ground rather than free revving it and once it gets to operating temperature it should be fine but let me get you on my head and we'll get this thing fired up. Be right back. Second gear.
see how good it's running. Grab a temperature reading of it. Two hundred and thirty two degrees. Idles perfect. And that's what I mean by turning up the low speed needle. Plenty of smoke, as you see. And I never touched the high speed needle when making this correction for idle. And that's what I was trying to show in the last video. Um, Hopefully Razor RC sees this. And he'll give uh, the low speed needle a shot. Because I think that's the biggest uh, tuning mistake a lot of people make is that they strictly try to adjust the high speed needle and they're afraid to give too much fuel to the low speed needle. To get your idle down, you gotta add some fuel to the low speed side. You gotta add that flow. It's really not a needle. It's not like an air fuel ratio on the low side. It's just fuel flow. And if you don't have the flow, then you can't control the idle. Luckily, the Jado is a platform I'm very familiar with. So, as you can see, no, do no double idle. There's no double idle, and it's perfectly, it's idling perfect. Pop this body off. It doesn't bog out. Perfect idle, perfect running. Shifts into the second speed. Plenty of smoke. And let's count. One, two, three. Like I said, about three to four is where I like to see it. When uh, when checking your fuel flow and your, your uh, sorry, just not feeling too well. When uh, checking your fuel flow, um, you got to get that idle gap and I kept saying you know uh, four millimeters to five millimeters what I mean to say is 0.4 to 0.5 is where I set the idle gap um, and when you don't have a fueler gauge to know then you know the best way to do it is to eyeball it and then you can make the correction with the low speed needle and looking at your idle gap So, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to see that. I'm going to get the remote turned off. Let me see if I can get uh, some light in there. But the idle gap is just this gap that's right in there. And it's not very big at all. If you're closing off your idle gap to where there's no gap and this thing is still running, then uh, you have an air leak somewhere. If, if your idle gap is completely closed and you still have a high idle, then you're getting air in from somewhere else. That's a good sign to let you know that your carburetor's leaking or something's loose, that you're getting air in from somewhere else. So. 
just wanted to show you guys after the last video and me adjusting this on how well the Jado runs now. I'm going to work on <coughs> getting my switch um, fixed so that I can stop having to pull this cover off to get the battery unplugged. But let me know what you think. Is the idle perfect? Is that where the idle should be? Um, I know Hybrid uh, talked about this. Um, and if you read some of his, uh, his comments, is that he agrees that the low speed needle, when you have a high idle, you need to add fuel to the low speed needle and keep adding fuel. And then when you get to that point of a double idle, to where it's idling just a little high and then drops down right away, that's letting you know you're almost there on the low speed needle. And then of course, the pinch test, after you get it close, lets you know that, hey, your idle gap and everything is, is pretty close. So can you run it with the double idle? Yes. Is it gonna hurt anything? No. But just getting it tuned perfectly um, it's just a better way of doing it just so when you let off it drops right to an idle so that when your fail safe kicks in, in case the voltage drops down you don't end up with a high idle and it trying to push the brakes when the brakes are applied especially on a Jado that doesn't have the best brakes in the world uh, my brakes are still working really good um, for being as old as this RC is but definitely love the Jado um two speeds working everything's working perfectly the only thing i'm going to work on next is getting this switch functional but there we go like comment subscribe we'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching